more on the effect of the labor union's indefinite strike. Business operators and artisans in Nigeria's capital city, Abuja, are struggling with the consequences of the electricity blackout caused by the nationwide indefinite industrial action by labor unions. Amidst the agitation for a new minimum wage, electricity workers have shut down the national grid, cutting power supply across the country. Trustee Ves Ibrahim Ismail speaks with artisans and businesses, business operators in Abuja about the impact of the power cuts on their businesses and the broader economy. The nationwide strike, which took effect at midnight of June 3rd, is already taking a toll on businesses. The recent power cut has only compounded the situation. Artisans and business operators are now compelled to rely on gasoline power generators to remain operational as labor unions continue to enforce the strike. Normally our work we used to use um, light before we do our work. So as far as now, um, electricity go for strike, really we are facing, facing many challenges because we have to buy for and um, use generator to operate and it's no small expense that we used to spend. So the thing is really affecting us. Governments um, need to do the needed. Even when they have not cut it, if they bring it, it won't take more than two hours, they will take it back. So all our days operating with this company or operating with this very things that we are doing here, we are using this in, uh, uh, generator more than 50,000 every day. Just times it like one week just to buy fuel. And end of the day, we are recharging. You will recharge maybe 30, 40,000 or 50. And that recharge that you recharge will be there more than three months because there is no light. As these artisans struggle with the high cost of production due to the power cuts, other businesses face low customer turnout because of the industrial action. This presents an unprecedented challenge to the growth and sustainability of their operations. So most of our clients now, they will not even know that Nepal have taken the light for like some period of time now. And the work is slowly and it is really, really affecting us that are individual entrepreneurs. Not like those people that are working in government, like uh, that are salary and at the end of the, at the end of the month, they'll still get their salary. If the strike by labor continue, it's going to really, really affect our business. And what I'm urging government is for government to meet the demand of labor. It's very obvious. On a normal day, if you come here, people trooping here, buying, going out, going, coming in to buy and you know, to their various uh, homes and their offices. But you can see everywhere it's very quiet. No light, we power systems with, uh, with, the, with, the, with the NEPA, or what you call it, uh, power holding. But you can see all our systems are shut down, except where you get a generator. If you have a generator and the noises, uh, the pollution from the noises is even very, very, very dangerous. The fuel uh, is very expensive. If you say you can run your office with generator, you can see how much it costs the fuel. Is. It's very, very high. As the strike continues, Nigerians will witness disruptions of essential services while struggling to survive the harsh economic hardship in the country. On Sunday, the National Assembly failed to convince the organized labor to call off the planned industrial action aimed at pressing the federal government to review the national minimum wage upward. Ibrahim Ismail, Trust TV News, Abuja.